ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Hi, good evening and welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Julian Gibson. Sox Senior Boys dominated Nassau Christian Academy yesterday. The final score was 90 to 40. It was a good game. We played defense. We, we ran our offense and we brought it good. We, we made off. We ran our offense. We ran our offense. It's hard work and practice. Execute. We learn. What do you guys need to do to keep winning and winning when it counts? Uh, so you're going to win the Senior Boys Championship. Can't take any team for granted. Got to hustle every day. Work hard every day. And you come out to win every time. Just got to play defense. Be more physical defensively. Rebound. And just run our place. In the Junior Boys game yesterday, Jordan Princeville took on Sock Junior Boys. And this one was all Falcons. They were flying high, 59-48. to 48. Honestly, boys uh, started on slow, but boy, they picked it up in a hurry. Yeah, uh, we had a game earlier, and uh, I guess we had, it took us a long time to get warm up. You like the way your boys playing right now? Well, we can be better. We can be way better than what we're doing, a little more hustle, and then I think we, we'll be in good position. Uh, boy, your big men are playing good, too. They had a number of blocks and some big rebounds. Yeah, I mean, hey, I got to depend on them. They're, they're a big factor of what we do. And from the government schools, C.I. Gibson Senior Girls, they are ready for the big dance. We need to practice more, execute more, and just become a better deer. Just play defense through first, second, and third and fourth quarter. Can you all do it? Yes, sir, we could. Now for C.I. Gibson head coach Kevin K.J. Johnson, he believes his senior boys are the team to beat. Doris Johnson played us when they stay right down to the wire. So... Basketball is a game of the night, so we got to be prepared and ready to go. Stay mentally tough, stay mentally ready, and hopefully we'll, we'll be successful. And a fire took place this morning at Old Thomas A. Robinson National Stadium. Our Kelsey Johnson was the first reporter on the scene. Firefighters responded quickly to an early morning blaze at the Old Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Engulfed in flames was the newly renovated technical area used as the announcer's booth during local track and field meets. The booth was also a storage facility for equipment. Eight minutes after receiving the call, we responded with three fire units and we were able to extinguish the fire and to control it and to ensure that the fire did not spread to the other buildings which are at the western, western end of the facility. A full investigation into the cause of the fire will take place, this according to Director of Fire Services Chief Superintendent Walter Evans. But of course investigators are here um, and as soon as they complete their process um, we will be in a position to confirm. We have received some preliminaries as to some of the scenarios that may that we are working with. General Manager of the National Sports Authority, Jeffrey Beckles, confirmed that a meet was held on Saturday at the stadium and finished shortly after 8 p.m. Beckles also revealed that a track and field meet is scheduled for Wednesday and that the facility will be up and running for that as well as the upcoming Carifta trials. Well, the booth is not essential in terms of uh, the ability uh, for us to execute the event. Uh, it is an announcer's booth. Uh, we have the ability to, to augment that with tenting. Uh, but the key things for us is ensuring that the implements used for track and field events, they're all safe. Uh, we will uh, definitely have to uh, look at timing, uh, timing uh, not just uh, the audio system. So we feel very confident too. Again, we've done it before when we fight uh, technical issues here, but uh, we're, not, we're not overly concerned that any of our events can't be executed successfully here at the top. The Bahamas is set to host the Carifta Championships March 30th to April 2nd at the National Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Kelsey Johnson, ZNS Total Sports. And finally, from the Sailing Beat, Farmers Key Class Series Regatta will take place the first weekend in February. So far, they have 60 in boats registered to sail, and they are looking forward to more boats, but they need more money. Well, we're going to be looking at that. Um, I'm committed to giving sailing regattas all of the funding that is necessary so that this sport, um, this activity, this cultural expression of our people is able to grow survive and thrive. Um, so I'll be speaking to my permanent secretary about our subvention to the various uh, sailing events, the various regattas, and to be able to make sure that we adequately fund um, the activity so that we can continue with the kind of economic growth and development of the communities and also of the sailing community. Uh, I'm really looking forward to going to Farmer's Key. Um, I understand that my great-grandmother originated in Farmer's Key. 
and that is something that I recently learned. Yeah, you got Russo all over, South I, Andres, I got, Farmersky all over. It, that's what they say. They said the people from South Andres are actually the people from the Exoma Keys. And my great-grandmother was a Nixon from Farmers Key, so it's going to be an opportunity for me to go to Farmers Key and see the place from where at least some of my forebears have, have originated. So I'm looking forward to supporting Farmers Key and um, helping the regatta to move forward in a positive way. Well, that's all the time for Sports Sunday. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Special thanks to my cameraman, Valentino Obinia, who's sitting in for Ashley Taylor, who's under the weather. Well, stay tuned. Your better forecast is still to come.